Welcome, one and all, to my YouTube channel, Techno Babble. I am the Techno Babbler here with a brand new LP series for you guys, and I need to introduce you to our new family. This is going to be our new family that you see every Monday because this family is all about everything that Monday is not. I am calling this family Style and Flair, and these are two Sims that I have played in my own game play uh, time on my own. That's why I don't have a cast video for them. Uh, I have saved them before, and I just love playing them. They are literally one of the most fun families to play. So, you know what? Let me go ahead and introduce you to them. The first person I would like to introduce you to in our Style and Flair family is Des Ani. And Des is a super fun sim. He loves art. He is an art lover. And let's just go into his little description and walk through what he is. So he is also a romantic. He is a little bit lazy. And he is a dance machine. He's also a muser and that he has from choosing the creativity aspiration because he is wanting to become a painter extraordinaire. Now, again, this is part of my new series where I'm going to be exploring some of the freelancer career options and right now he does not yet have a career and so I think I'm going to have him join the freelancer career for a little while uh, just to explore that and see if it's something that he wants to do because he's also if you didn't notice he's a notable newcomer he has been painting a lot and he is becoming a little bit famous for doing so because people love his artwork. And the other sim in this family is at work, and I will introduce you to her once she returns home. So until then, I think we're going to do a little bit of gameplay with Dez. And Dez, like I said, he is just the epitome of, like, not Monday. He is loves to stay up late. He loves to have fun. It doesn't matter the day of the week. He loves to dance. He loves to create. He is such a creative soul that he just loves to have fun, but his social is a little low. So we are going to go ahead and he's, he's going to send a text after he is done, of course, dancing. Uh, that's one of my favorite traits about him is that he is a dance machine. I think it's hilarious. I don't play many Sims that are dance machines uh, because, you know, I just, I have not found a Sim that matches so well as Des does to the dance machine. machine. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, I think we should go out. I think we need to go to somewhere fun. It is 1.23 on a Tuesday. It's time to get out there and do something fun. Alrighty, you guys. Des has decided to come to this lovely little club here in... What is this place called? Del Sol Valley. Sorry, I don't remember that one. He came to Del Sol Valley. And you know what? It's not a party right now. But do not worry. Because Dez will make a party happen wherever he goes. That is sort of my hope for this LP right here. This Monday series. I'm planning on putting out this series every Monday, you guys. And I'll tell you what. Mondays, as we all know, are the worst. So why not have a little bit of fun with Mondays with the most hopping family I can come up with. Like I said, Des Ani, he's a notable newcomer. He is just working a little bit on his famedom. Let me dive into a little bit more about Des. Uh, if we go, wait, let me go back up here. He does not, he does have, uh, he doesn't yet have a fame point. Apparently we are just a little under to get our fame point, but he is noticeable. So people will notice Des when he is out and about. And I think that is 100% Des. He wants the attention. He loves the attention. He is... Vane Street loves admiring themselves in the mirrors and you know aside from having the self-absorbent uh, trait he is all but that so he loves to meet people loves to get to know people and loves to have a good time so I think we will just go ahead and introduce ourselves to as many people as we possibly can uh, does he have a social media account no he doesn't but he would definitely add to his Instagram I feel like he would Instagram literally everything he is an artist 
And, you know, I know we're out at the bar and I know who wants to think about getting a job, but let's go ahead and join a career while we're here as well, because I want to check out the freelancer career uh, that follows the artistic path and see what sort of options are available. All right, let's scroll on down here and find the E. Yeah. Of course, it's alphabetical and I missed it. Freelancer, and we are going to choose freelancer for Des for right now. He has entered the freelancer career. He is going to be part of the electrified artist. Can a digital painting make you cry? Right now, no one knows. This is part party. I think it's supposed to be partly. This is partly because many would consider the very idea frivolous, but it's also because whoever successfully answers the question must first have answered several others. Why do we cry? Why do we laugh or love or smile? What are the touchstones of our emotions? Until now, the people who asked such questions tended not to be the same people who created digital art. Instead, they were writers, filmmakers, painters, musicians. They were, in the traditional sense, artists. We're about to change that tradition. The name of our agency is Electrified Artists, and that is... Des. Now, he does love the other mediums. He loves to paint. He just loves to create. Like I said, he is quite literally the epitome of the creative soul. So I think, what is with all the old people out and about? Seriously? That's all right. Our, bar our bartender's young. Let's go ahead and uh, chat up our bartender, Henry Rice. Uh, of course, he'd be uh, maybe a little bit romantic. I think he'd ask a risque question right off the bat just to kind of see what's happening. Uh, maybe he'll tell a funny story. We'll definitely work on his charisma. I think he'd be so charismatic. And as you can see, he has some tattoos. Uh, I don't often play with the tattoos, but I definitely think he just, like I said, he loves art in every possible form. You guys see that? He has to go admire his fine self because he's so vain. I love it. I just love it. This is like the, this sim right here cracks me up. The epitome of just self-indulgence right and i think on mondays we need as much self-indulgence as we can possibly get right uh let's go look at that uh he's quite uh keen on this guy already uh who is this henry rice very flirtatious he's got a flirty response back for him maybe we'll go ahead and try um uh, let's maybe ask if single and maybe we can tell another joke like i said this guy is just a fun sim to play he loves everything and he doesn't take anything w too seriously um seriously what is this like i guess this is like a happy hour for the older sims <gasps> another young sim oh he's a fan i don't think we can do anything with fans yet oh he's a fan of hers is that someone famous margo fairbanks <gasps> oh that's margo you guys margo exists in the same save file i forgot about this mrs margo fairbanks Oh, we definitely need to meet Margo. This is so awesome to me. Oh, uh, we need to also apparently go spend some time in the mirror because, you know what? He loves himself. I would think taking a selfie would also add into that. It's 3 o'clock. Violet is at home. We are going to send her a happy text and get her to get over to this club. First, we're going to go admire our fine self in the mirror, because why wouldn't you, right? I mean, he's so handsome. He just can't help himself, right? <laughs> I love it. All right, after he does that, we definitely need to come up here. Did we actually meet Margot Fairbanks? Yeah, we're going to come over here, brighten her, give her a brighten her day, heartfelt compliment. He is definitely going to gossip. I totally think he would be all over the gossip Oh, he's feeling quite confident after that. He wants to now admire himself in the mirror. Really? Really, though, Des? After checking out yourself in the mirror, you want to check out yourself in the mirror some more. That's all right. All right, we're going to go ahead and imagine that she went. he went ahead and texted Violet to come over here. We are going to bring Violet Franklin here. And now, let me introduce you to Violet. Violet Franklin is just a phenomenal sim. I adore adore her she is all sass all the time and she ain't gonna take no crud from nobody if you know what i mean but let's go ahead and dive into her simology so you can see who and what she's all about she is so outgoing she's super outgoing she's a foodie she loves good food she loves high quality food she would love 
I think she's going to learn uh, a lot of cooking. I think she wants to be pretty good at cooking as well. She might actually aspire to own her own restaurant, actually. She is a music lover through and through, and she is gregarious from choosing the popularity aspiration. Now, that being said, you'll notice, because if you guys have not, or if you, those of you who are new to my channel, I like to choose an aspiration, and I like to hop all over the aspirations, because my sims are very much like me. I don't have one goal in mind. I like to switch up my goals. I have multiple goals. But in the sims, we do not currently have a way to have multiple aspirations. So I like to switch them up as my moods feel. So right now, she's a best-selling author. I think we're going to go ahead and switch her back over to popularity because she wants to be... I think she almost kind of wants to be like a famous person. She wants a little bit of celebrity stardom. Now, she is really good friends with Dez. They met a long time ago. And so Violet here just loves to hang out and loves to celebrate. And you know what? Because she's a music lover, I really think she's going to be a karaoke star. I think she would love singing. And so she might actually come over here and practice a little bit of singing. But like I said, wherever she goes, it will be fun, just like Des, because these two characters are the epitome of the opposite of however Monday feels. So Violet is here. I think she needs to come in here, and she needs to introduce herself to multiple sims as well. Uh, we will come over here, and we will do a friendly introduction to Henry Rice, and we will come over here and do a friendly introduction here. And then, you know what? She is, oh, just so you guys know, she is part of the social media uh, career track right now. And she is a media intern. She wants to update her social media status. Let's hop on that. She would be all over that. She needs, also should, can she check in? She should totally be able to check in. All right, so she can't check in, so that's all right. So she's going to update her social media status, and she's going to come over here, and she is going to practice singing. And I don't even remember. I don't think she has any skill yet in singing. Oh, she's just a little bit, just barely. But that doesn't matter. She is all about herself. Look how confident she is. She is so confident when she walks. I just love it. She's going to introduce herself to these people here, and they, you know what, by just being here, it will become a party in and of itself. Like I said, I'm hoping to put out a style and flair episode every Monday in my new lineup here in the Sims and the City LP. Uh, this will be my Monday lineup because you know what? We all need a little bit of fun on our Mondays because Mondays can be the worst, according to Garfield. <laughs> all right, we have some more Sims to introduce ourselves to. So let's go ahead and oh, look at this. It's like a mildly famous person. Let's maybe have uh, Violet attempt an introduction. And who is this over here? We have uh, a fan, Melissa Fuentes. We'll definitely give her a friendly introduction. I don't know if when we see fan, does that mean it's a fan of our person who's mildly famous? Oh, no. She's a fan of Kayla Fleming. I love it. Uh, we were flirting, I believe, a little bit with this guy. I think we should definitely... Uh, Go a little bit back to that. Meanwhile, we have Violet here who is getting ready to go on and practice some singing for a little bit of famedom. Did she check into... Uh, how did she not update her social media status yet? She definitely needs to do that. She'll get on that here in a bit. I don't know why she hasn't done it yet, but she hasn't. Also, Des, I think you would have ordered a drink by now, so maybe let's go ahead and order a drink, and we will order our favorite drink. I love clicking order favorite drink to see what exactly we are going to choose for our favorite drink. One never knows, right? Like, seriously. I don't know how it's chosen. I don't know why it's chosen. But we often get... This bartender sucks. Did you just see him spilling that drink? Uh, when we choose favorite drink, it's like a mystery. It's like a great mystery. I'm sure if I had MC Command Center, I'd be able to see what it was or control what it was. But... I don't have that, so <laughs> I'm just dealing with whatever Henry makes ours as our favorite drink. And it is... Wait, wait, wait. I couldn't see what that was. It is... Oh my gosh, I still can't see what it is. Why can I not see what... It looks like a Cupid's drink, doesn't it? No. What is his favorite drink? Let's see if he sets it down. If I mouse over it, will it tell me what it is? Plasma Jane? What the heck? How is that his favorite drink? It's a little bit creepy. He's like a little bit of a vampire. Creepy. Oh, well. 
Violet, you are... Ooh, it's real bad, Violet. It's real bad. Oh my gosh, that guy just gave us two simoleons. Well, bless your heart, Diego. Bless your little heart. Oh my gosh, Vanessa Jiang? She just gave us two simoleons, too. <laughs> this is hilarious. Listen to us. Oh, man, it's hurting my ears. Oh, she's loving it. She's having a great time and making cash. I love it. Meanwhile, he is drinking a Plasma Jane over here. Celebrities are starting to fill this place up. But you know what? Right now, Des is primarily only interested in getting to know Henry a little bit more. So maybe we will... Uh, Maybe we will compliment appearance again, and we will maybe come over here and have a little bit of a flirt. Anaya Banjari, congratulations on landing that sweet job. I think it's going to be a great... Oh, it's going to be great for you. Well, thank you. Uh, who do we have here? This is Thorn Bailey, a proper celebrity. Should we ask for a hug? Sure, why not? I mean, he's getting ready to become famous, but uh, you know what? He doesn't take himself too seriously. Why would he? Uh, we'll ask another risque question of Henry because why not? Henry's an adorable young fella there. Uh, maybe we'll do a bold pickup line. <gasps> what? Violet, you got to singing level two? That's phenomenal. <laughs> oh, Violet. I love your passion. Your soul is there. The voice will come eventually. This guy is wearing some short shorts over here. Who is that? Brantley Fuentes. Uh, you know what? Maybe you would uh, do a funny introduction to Brantley. Wait, wait, wait. She's really wanting to meet people. She's the one who's wanting to meet all these people. Let's have her maybe cut from here, and she is wanting to meet a bunch of new people. She wants to introduce her to 10 different sims. So here's Chaz. Do a friendly introduction. Come over here. Do a friendly introduction. You guys get the idea. Friendly introduction all uh round who's this young guy over here i've never seen him before eric lewis oh of course her queue is full well after her queue is done being full we can come over here and introduce herself to eric lewis as well i literally have never seen that sim uh i've never seen the sim either Ali alana acres all right you have some needs that need to be taken care of for one we need to use the bathroom then you maybe need to come over here and order some food because you are getting hungry. Order... <laughs> we can't order food? What the heck? Oh, and the bartender is gone. Who's this guy? Oh, that's right. That's Brantley Fuentes. Let's check in on Violet. Violet, you are introducing yourself to people. You are working on getting these points up. We're only three people away. And we want to have some more friends. Uh, who is this? Anika Banjari. Let's brighten her day. Let Really? Why is our queue already full? That seems ridiculous. Our queue should definitely not be full yet. Um, Can we brighten her day? Or do we already do that? I don't really know. Let's ping back over here to... Alright, well he's using the bathroom. Violet is outgoing. Well, we knew that. What does he want to do? He wants to complete some more emotional paintings. Uh, do we have a new bartender yet that we can get something to eat? It does not look like it. So maybe we'll have him uh, come over here and socialize with Henry a little bit more. Maybe we will uh, tell a funny story again. And we will do a friendly conversation and ask about day. And what else might he talk to our new friend Henry about? Ask him about his career. Does he like his career? Does he like being a bartender here? he probably totally talk about himself a little bit, complain about his problems. Uh, and let's see, who, did she get her introduce herself to Eric Lewis? Because, like I said before, I've never seen this in before, ever. So I definitely want her to introduce herself to Eric Lewis. It's always interesting when uh, a new series spawns new sims that I've never seen before. Actually, a lot of these sims I've never seen before. I don't know if they live here in Del Sol Valley or where they are, but uh, that's kind of fun for me. All right, this, Des, what are we doing? Oh, you're feeling flirty, and you want to tell a dirty joke to someone. Well, there's Henry. I think the most appropriate thing to do would be to tell him a dirty joke. 
Uh, if I knew a dirty joke, you guys, I would tell you the dirty joke right now. But unfortunately, or fortunately, I don't know a dirty joke. Sorry. <laughs> uh, here is another new sim I've never seen before. This is Arush Srevzvata. Sounds Russian. Maybe it just sounds Russian because I said it with a Russian accent. But anyway, Violet's going to come over here, introduce herself to him. She wants to upload a video. She also wants to, what is this, finish reading a book. All right. And she wants to give someone a big old hug. Well, you know what? I'm going to have them hang out here at the bar for a little bit longer, and then we will have them head home. All right. We've just returned back from a night out. It is Night is still young, technically, according to them. So I think that des would go ahead and invite some people over to the house because that's just how des is so he definitely invite henry um we just met uh anas and maybe maybe even margo because why not uh let me give you guys a quick tour of their apartment uh let's see if i can do this i'm not great yet at the controls but we will pretend that i am so we come through here through the front door and as you guys can see right there, they have a little stage set up because, like I said, Violet is wanting to become a karaoke star, amongst other things. She loves music, and she definitely rehearses and practices, and when they have parties, they karaoke. Uh, right here to the left, we have Violet's room. Now, Violet's room, she's got a nice big bed. She's got a little dresser there. She's got a station right here with a green screen wall behind it because, like I said, she is part of the social media career uh, track, and she makes videos. She puts videos out on a regular basis because she's also wanting to be a little bit famous. We have a nice big mirror there and her laptop there that she works on uh, when she is posting and writing uh, a plethora of different things. Like one of the things that she does is she's writing books. Uh, just some like city guides for people to get to kind of know the city, San Machuno. And then over here, let's go back out to the hallway. Hey, there's Des in the hallway. Sorry that it is so skewed. I'm like I said, I'm trying to learn some of these controls. So right over here, this is a big, this is a big open space here. So here is our microphone, our karaoke machine, and our kitchen. And it is delightfully, phenomenally blue. Uh, I created this kitchen just because I wanted it to be a little bit different than what I normally make. Uh, let me come out of tab mode here and put up the walls again now that we're inside. So you can see here is the kitchen, a nice lovely kitchen. Ooh, we need to move that coffee thing, but they like a good cup of coffee or a good cup of espresso in the morning. There is a big bar here. Now, I thought this was important here because I think these two love to have fun, so they will be entertaining all of the time. So we have a little entertainment space here. We also have a jukebox because... Why wouldn't we have a jukebox? Then come around the corner and we have the bubble blowing machine right there. Uh, this door leads into a pre-existing bathroom. Let me come out of this mode and we will just go right into the bathroom so you guys can see it. It is nothing fancy, but there is the bathroom there. I wanted to put, like I said, this is the style and flair section. I wanted to put a little bit of something different here. So you can see we did this tile bathroom, but right there we have a like more copper or brown tone that comes down and follows along even in the tiles in the floor because I wanted it to be something a little bit different. But they have a pretty nice little bathroom there. And then we will come out of here, go back to our hallway. Uh, at the end of the bubble blowing here hallway, we have a studio here to the left. I'm going to come up this way. Nothing too special, but we have a little studio here. We have a digital drawing tablet in here. We have a space where he started some graffiti right there on the floor and an artist uh, painting easel over here in this bright, big, beautiful room because I think Des would love, Des loves art and being creative in every possible way from painting on an easel, digital creation on the pad, and dancing when he's listening to some good music. That is how and who he is. He is all about the expression of beautiful art. And so when we go in his room, you can see he has a beautiful mosaic tile uh, imprinted in his floor, and he went ahead and did that. Whether the landlord liked it or not, he did it because that's where he's at. And he also has an affinity for really nice things. So you can see here, whoops, here in his wardrobe, he has some very nice apparel that he can check out and put on at any 
point in time. And as you notice, those of you who play The Sims a lot, you can see I have this board around here. This is a wall that he can pro definitely provide and put some graffiti on his wall when he is good and ready. So I think we will go ahead and round out the episode here with them coming home. They probably are going to invite a couple people over and have a little bit more of a hangout after hours here in the household. Uh, like I said, I am hoping to get brand new episodes out every Monday of Style and Flair in my Sims and the City LP series. These guys are the epitome of the opposite of what a Monday feels like. So I hope you guys have a little bit of fun and they both these characters bring a little bit of joy to your every Monday. So until next time, Tomalagi! Like